In the next step, as we discussed in the previous lesson, we create pools of virtual servers in GSLB section in F5DNS module. Traffic is distributed between these pools based on configured load balancing algorithm. First, we create in the section GSLB and pools US underline pool, US underline pool with the type A record with the big IP1 LTM virtual server, big IP1 which is US LTM virtual servers. We choose TCP for the health monitoring and then finish then we will configure the other pool EU underline pool with the type A and then with the health monitoring TCP and the second big IP virtual server which is automatically discovered which is EU LTM virtual server and then finish it is expected that both of them will be green after a while as we expect and the last step of GSLB configuration we create a white IP with the name of www.roico-code.com and the type A record including US pool and EU pool that we just created this provide the capability to distribute traffic for the name or destination roico-code.com between pools of virtual servers based on configured load balancing algorithm. The load balancing algorithm will be discussed in the next section, but at the moment we will uh, leave the load balancing algorithm as default. In the section void IP, and then we create with the name of www.roico-code.com with the type A record and uh, with two pools, first US and the second EU and then finish. It is expected that the status will be also green. As you notice all GSLB configurations are done only in the first F5 Big IP device. Now it is required to synchronize the GSLB configuration with, with the other remote F5 DNS device so it makes no difference which of the F5 DNS servers are queried for a name for this name especially. In this section we will discuss how to synchronize GSLB configuration from Big IP1 to Big IP2 F5 device. To enable GSLB configuration synchronization we first enable automatic configuration synchronization in the section GSLB, in the section setting, and then GSLB, and then general. And you have to make sure that the synchronization and automatic here are enabled. By default, synchronize is not enabled, but I've already enabled. You have to make sure that these two options are enabled. Then we go to the remote F5 DNS device through the SSH to the management 1, 192, 192 and we are connected to the second F5 device and we will use the tools GTM underline add a script to add remote F5 device to an existing synchronization group and get DNS and global site load balancer configuration. Notice that you must run this script on the second big IP, not in the first big IP. Running this script will erase the current DNS configuration on the device that we are running the script and DNS configuration is replaced with the configuration of another F5 device which is the first big IP device. So 
with the IP address of the first which is 191 here you will uh, receive the warning the configuration will be deleted are you absolutely sure you want to do this yes and password of the remote device it takes a few seconds or a few minutes after configuration synchronization, you can check the entire GSLB configuration on Big IP2 to ensure that GSLB configuration is replaced correctly. It is finished. And you see these configuration files are copied from the first Big IP to the second Big IP device. Now, if you check the second in the section DNS, GSLB, data centers are copied, servers are copied, pools are copied, and YTIB also are copied in the second device, and a status of all objects are also green. Now, in order to query a five DNS devices for the name www.raika-co.com, we need to create a DNS listener. As we discussed in topology, we create a DNS listener in both big, big IP devices, one with the IP address 2.213 in big IP1, the first F5 device, and the other with IP address 2.214 in the second F5 device. In the section, in the first, uh, DNS delivery and listener, we create us underline listener and with the IP address 2213 that is all and the second device listener notice that the listener must be configured in both the uh, F5 devices and it's not copied by synchronization EU underline pool with IP address 192, 168 to 214 and that is all we don't need any other configuration probably you need to configure two listeners one with UDP protocol the other with TCP so the others users or DNS servers are allowed to query based on TCP or UDP, DNS TCP and DNS UDP protocol. And then finish or DNS listeners are also created in both devices. To verify the operation of GSLB, we can use NSLOOKUP to send a query for the name www.raika-co.com to each F5 DNS device. I will open to command prompt the first and again the other to uh, f5 device with command nslookup it doesn't matter you query the first f5 device or the second f5 device the result must be the same nslookup and server 192.168 the first is 2.213 that we have just created with the name www.raika-co.com you see the IP address of virtual server in the first data center or US data center again the IP address of the virtual server LTM virtual server in the US data center the virtual server in the EU data center, the virtual server in EU data center. Sometimes traffic is distributed to the US data center, sometimes to EU data center based on load balancing algorithm. But at this section, we didn't change load balancing algorithm and by default it is round robin. And in the second, again, NS lookup and server, the second F5 device listener this is 2214 and the name 
raika-code.com the IP address of LTMV Charge Server in US Data Center EU Data Center US Data Center EU Data Center you see the algorithm is uh, round robin and the traffic is distributed based on round robin algorithm by default